Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to use the Turn Into Mystery Man Polymorpher from Token Magic FX in Foundry version 10, build 288. Oh, my uh, and the whole purpose of this macro is to change the appearance of a token that you have selected. So I have this uh, current token selected right now. I'm just going to click my macro and it turns it into my Banana Man token. If I click it again, it turns it off. So uh, very easy to set up. I'm just going to show you how to do it real quick. First thing you're going to want to do is find the macro itself. Uh, so you go to your compendiums in your macros. Uh, scroll down to the Token Magic portfolio and open that. Then scroll down near the bottom of this. You'll see one that says Turn Into Mystery Man Polymorph. So you drag that down to your macro bar. I already had one down there, so I'm just going to delete that one that I just pulled in. Uh, and then all we're going to do is edit that. So you right click on the macro, click edit macro, and then there's going to be like three things that we need to change in here. So the first thing is right here, it says there are nine types of metamorphos. Uh, so that's the things, uh, the animation effects that can occur based on what you assign. So it starts out right here, defaulted, oops, excuse me. At defaulted at four, which is water drop. Um, and so I'm going to just change that to nine, which is hologram right here. Uh, so next, we're going to scroll down just a hair. Uh, and this says change the target image here. So the target image path currently is set to icon mystery man. And we're going to change that to the Im image path that we want for whatever image that we're going to be using. So I'm going to take the image for banana man over here. So right click on the token, go to the settings go under the Appearance tab, and the first one in there is the Image Path. So I'm going to copy that and then paste it in where this says Icons Mystery Man next to the Image Path in the macro. I paste that in. Now you can see that's in there. And then we're going to scroll down just a hair further. Uh, and this is where it says, let Polymorph Filter ID equal something in uh, quotations. So in quotations, it starts out default at my polymorph. You're going to want to change that because if you use this more than one time, uh, so you create more than one macro for turning into different uh, actors, uh, if they're all assigned to the same one, they don't work correctly. So we're going to change that and we'll just assign it to banana man testing. Uh, and then I'm going to save that. And then let's test it out. So we select that token, click the macro, and we turn it into the correct image. If we click it again, we turn back out. The last thing I'm going to show you is just how to update the image for the macro button itself. Uh, so if you right-click on that and click Edit Macro, you click on the uh, the actual image up there. And then down under here, in the very bottom of this window where it says Selected, just paste that image file in again that you already just used. And then so, uh, click Select File. You can see the image updated right here. Uh, and then, oops, I shouldn't click on that. Uh, and then just click Save Macro again, and you can see the image updated in my macro bar. So if I click that, it changes me. If I click it, it changes me back. I have made a whole bar of just different actors that I want my doppelgangers to be able to transition into really quickly uh, without uh, dealing with the automated polymorph add-on, which I did another tutorial on. Tutorial on. Um, so it's just a quick, easy thing to set up. Uh, you can use it if you want to. You don't have to. Uh, it is pretty handy, uh, and I really enjoy it. So if you thought this was helpful, go ahead and throw a like. Uh, if you like my videos, subscribe, and I'm going to be putting out a ton of these over the next uh, few months here. So uh, feel free to uh, drop a comment if you want to see any particular modules uh, or any particular portions uh, within modules. Uh, I like focusing on the little things that uh, people like me who aren't very good at these types of things uh, tend to struggle with. So uh, if I have already troubleshooted through something and it can save you some time, that is my goal with this. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you have any questions about where to find these, there will be links to the GitHubs and the creators uh, down in the description.